Back here in Washington, President Biden scored another major victory with the passage of a landmark climate, health care and tax bill in the House. It passed this evening strictly along party lines with all Republicans voting against it. CBS's Scott McFarlane has more now on what's in the bill and what it'll mean for you. Months of negotiation, which stalled and derailed several times, finally reached a destination. The motion is adopted. The U.S. House sending a nearly three quarters of a trillion dollar spending plan to President Biden's desk. I'm proud to support this bill because I believe it delivers for the American people. It's also the largest climate change legislation in U.S. history. $369 billion for clean energy programs, including tax credits for those who buy electric cars or make energy efficient upgrades at home. More than $300 billion to pay down the deficit and giving Medicare power to negotiate lower prescription drug prices to help pay for all of it, a 15% tax on major corporations. Finally, you're requiring um, companies that make billions of dollars a year to pay a corporate minimum tax. That money, the fact that some of it is going to deficit reduction, also will help bring down inflation. Which Republicans blistered with criticism. Asking Congress to spend its way out of inflation is like asking a drunk to drink, his, drink himself sober. Democrats named the bill the Inflation Reduction Act, but there's dispute over whether or how soon it'll help do so. Can people expect a bill to have an impact on something as pernicious as inflation quickly? Well, you have to get started. In Morgantown, West Virginia, boutique owner Shannon Dowling says she hopes the bill helps, but says it won't immediately. How quickly it will, you know, actually filter down to us. I'm not sure about that. I do have some hope, but at the same time, I'm definitely cautious. The tax changes and the green energy credits will likely take effect next year. Many of the Medicare provisions won't begin until several years from now, which means the changes in this new law won't kick in until long after President Biden signs it next week. Nancy. Scott McFarlane on Capitol Hill tonight. Thank you.